Joining us from the University of Kansas is Dr. Priyanka Sharma. She's got two posters being presented here at ASCO 2014. Thank you for being here. My privilege. Let's talk about your work in triple negative breast cancer. What have you found? What are you presenting? So triple negative breast cancer accounts for 15% of all breast cancers, although it is the smallest subtype of breast cancer is associated with a higher mortality and poor outcome and tends to inflict younger women. Keeping that in mind, uh, three years ago, we started um, a prospective registry of triple negative breast cancer patients that were being treated at University of Kansas and uh, our partnering community facilities. Uh, the goal of this registry was to collect prospective information on these young women, collect uh, information on germline um, BRCA mutation status, treatment, and long-term outcomes. Out of this registry, what we have um, found that 15 to 18 percent of uh, unselected triple negative breast cancer patients have a germline mutation in BRCA1 or 2 genes that predispose them to this cancer. That was the first aspect of our work. The second aspect was to look at the impact of different chemotherapy regimens and the response to these regimens um, in young women receiving chemotherapy before surgery, which is the new adjuvant chemotherapy. That's the focus of the poster that uh, I am presenting at poster highlight session at this ASCO. We looked at um, two different chemotherapy regimens. One was a platinum taxane-based chemotherapy regimen for six rounds, um, and compared that to the conventional uh, intracycline cyclophosphamide taxane-based chemotherapy regimen um, in the patients that are participating in this registry. What we found that the pathological complete response rate in breast and axilla with the anthracycline taxane chemotherapy uh, were at 42%, which is very similar to what would be expected with this regimen since this is a regimen we've been routinely using for triple negative breast cancer. Over the last couple of ye years, platinum chemotherapy has gained a lot of excitement in triple negative breast cancer because of um, the thought similarities between BRCA1 uh, associated breast cancer and triple negative breast cancer. So in our cohort, what we found with the six rounds of a platinum and taxane-based chemotherapy regimen, we, we achieved very encouraging pathological complete response rate uh, of 61 to 65%. And what we further did was broke down this pathological complete response rate based on the germline BRCA mutation status. What we find is the pathological complete response rate in BRCA mutation carriers are extremely good, uh, reaching 80%. Uh, but in the sporadic triple negative breast cancers too, the pathological complete response rates were very encouraging at 60%. And this data compares um, very, very favorably with uh, regimens that include uh, anthracycline, taxane, and a platinum. Uh, but as this is devoid of an anthracycline or a cyclophosphamide, it potentially spares women some long-term toxicities like cardiac toxicities and risk of secondary leukemia and MDS. Uh, so we're very excited about these results and we hope that uh, a platinum taxane a regimen that is devoid of an anthracycline uh, can be studied in a randomized fashion. Is that what you would plan to do next? Um, hopefully with the help of um, um, other groups, uh, but as far as our registry goes, we will continue to expand our cohort that is being treated with a platinum and taxane based chemotherapy. Uh, and the next steps are really to go, go back to the biology and and determine the markers that predict the response to this regimen, specifically look at BRCANS phenotype markers like germline mutations in other genes that are involved in the homologous recombination pathway or somatic changes that render, render the tumor to have homologous recombination repair defects. Dr. Sharma, we appreciate your time and thank you for sharing your information. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thanks.